Good morning, folks. We're going to hit several items today. The volcano, the previous story about a new major Earth mystery, geomagnetic vulnerability, carbon dating issues, and a top-level dissertation. But first, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. The day began with an eruption off the limb, which we'll see more closely in a moment. There were no big flares or eruptions on the Earth-facing portion of the sun, but the sunspot number is as high as it's been this entire sunspot cycle. We are certainly on eruption watch. The blast just behind the western limb was a strong, compact eruption that will strike Mercury today and will miss the Earth. The next mini-cycle uptick is due to begin in a few weeks, and by then, hopefully not so many sunspots will be facing the Earth. Moving on to geophysical events, as many of you know, the Iceland volcano erupted again. I do not wish to show the lava setting homes ablaze, but this one has invaded the nearby town. We are now seeing the volcano do as it was feared. Up next, about a week ago we discussed the halting of the Chandler Wobble, something that was not supposed to happen. And again, there's a lot of that going around here these days. I keep getting a similar question and comment, and yes, it's true. I do fear that Earth's magnetic pole shift has somehow disrupted this geodynamic pattern, but I cannot yet prove it. It makes the most sense, it's responsible for almost every other anomaly we're seeing, but please know the care and the diligence with which I bring you information. I cannot tell you for sure that the pole shift has caused the wobble to stop, as much as I want to, as much as I believe that is probably the truth. You deserve the best level of diligence, and that's where I stand, just as I told this fine observer this morning. Moving on. We're back to the scariest geomagnetic land on Earth. Every time they do this study, they come to the same result, that both the geology and the shape of the power system in New Zealand presents the risk of major geomagnetically induced current. As we have said on the show before, it will be one of the first places to go down in a solar blackout. Up next, we add to the long list of problems with isotope dating. In this one, the age of the footprints dated with seeds from ancient New Mexico have been reduced by two-thirds, once again, they believed something was vastly older than it truly is. Last but not least, a star is born. This dissertation is all about the magnetospheric dynamics of Earth and other planets in our solar system, and there is expressed discussion within it of the risk that the pole shift presents to us now. They're beginning to wake up. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.